Okay, so this thing on uh, Hawkins' scale of consciousness and wanting simple teachings, I think with, with Hawkins, it is, I mean, I've heard from a lot of people, they get very caught up and get very, um, get caught up in Hawkins' calibrations and the map of consciousness and it can bring on judgmentalism or that Hawkins is wrong or right or comparison in groups about who's better than who. I mean, my own view on that is, I mean, Hawkins may not be your teacher. I mean, he's one who, Hawkins is someone who resonates in, in my heart. And uh, I've followed him almost, you could say blindly, and it's led to the most miraculous recoveries from so many illnesses. So I'm truly uh, profoundly affected by his teachings, but you know, he may not be the right one. I mean, I think there are teachers who have a, definitely a lot simpler message than him. And just for spiritual seekers to go to whatever teacher uh, they, they feel is right in their hearts. With Hawkins, I felt he was, for his main audience and lectures, he was um, sharing a message to try and get people to relate who are stuck in the head and logic even though he does give more advanced um, teachings to those who are asking him more advanced questions. But that was the general thrust of trying to help as much of humanity get out of the head and get out of logical thinking. So to use his background as a medical doctor and as a, a Freudian psychoanalyst to try and help people get out of the head and into the heart. Okay, and I'll stop recording there.